Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to uh, introduce uh, my newest uh, um, collection of chess games. This is called the Thai chess or Cambodian chess. In Thai it is called Makruk and in Cambodian it is it's called Oak Chachrang. So let's begin with uh, introducing each pieces. Firstly is the pawn in this game. It is called Bia in Thai. It means cowries. And called Trey in Cambodian uh, means fish. Uh, it is very similar to chess pawns. It is very similar to pawns in Western chess, and this one is called Rua in Thai, and the Tuk in Cambodian. That means a boat. Uh, this is a very powerful piece. It works just like a Rook in Western chess. And this one, as you can see, that is definitely a knight or a horse. It is called Ma in Thai and called Ses in Cambodian. Both of these words means horse. Yeah, this is horse. The move of this horse is uh, absolutely same to uh, the knight in Western chess and this one uh, which is placed uh, in the place of bishop it's called corn in thai and called call in cambodian in thai it means a nobleman and in call it means a pillar and in western chess uh the piece next to king is very important, it is the most powerful piece, the queen. But in Makruk and Ok Cha Cha, um, it is not that way. Uh, in Makruk it is called the mat, means seed. And in Cambodian it is called uh, Neang, means maiden. So. Mm, we can just call it as a queen uh, We will talk about how they move later. Okay, so this is The king as you can see that king is uh, looks very similar to the queen and uh, So we can call it bishop or nobleman uh, But the king is the largest one of these three and the queen is the smallest one the king is called Kun in Thai, means king or lord, and called Sa Sa or Ang in Cambodian, uh, which means king. So you can see this is the start of the game. The two uh, Rua and two sides and two knights, two uh, noblemen, or you can call it bishop, and a queen and a king. It is different to the western chess that you can see the two players kings are not in the same file. In western chess, uh, the white, white and uh, the dark king should be both on the e file but it is not that case in makruk or oak chachang and as you can see these pawns are not on the second rank from the player's place it is on the third rank Okay, so let's talk about how this 
just PC smooth and let's look at this small booklet okay so let's start from the rook it is called a uh, rua in Thai and uh, it means a boat it is uh, the same as the rook in the western chess game so it is a very powerful piece in this game uh, I think it is the most powerful one and the second one is the horse the horse is the same as knight in chess game as well so if you want to learn uh, Makrook mm, you don't have to remember these two pieces because it's the same as western chesses and uh, look at this bishop uh, the way this bishop move is not like uh, western chess uh, which can go diagonally uh, for a very long distance and uh, it is a little bit uh, not a little bit it is absolutely the same with uh, the Ginsho or the silver in uh, the Japanese chess or called Shogi and in Burmese chess uh, there is a piece called uh, elephant the elephant of Burmese chess is absolutely the same as uh, the Kong or the bishop in Makrook uh, it can move the it can move uh, one square diagonally and one square forward diagonally and one square forward and the king the king is the same as the western chess king and the queen is not powerful at all it is uh, very weak um, it can only go one square diagonally each time one square and the pawn is it works just like uh, the western chess pawn uh, but the first uh, move of the pawn uh, you cannot move two squares uh, you can only move one square so uh, this is how these chess pieces move and just keep uh, looking at this book you can see that uh, this chapter the second chapter of the book is about the Kumar uh, style the Khmer rule, Cambodian chess and these two games are very similar but there are some interesting differences between these two games in Khmer chess um, the first thing different is that uh, the king can move like a knight when the first move of the king move to the second rank like uh, this square uh, b2 or f2 uh, it is a little bit similar to uh, castling in western chess uh, and uh, one thing which is similar is when you are checked, you cannot uh, use this uh, special move to save your king from check. Uh, you can firstly block your king and 
the opponent's piece move out and you can move like this so this special rule is a little bit like uh, castling in western chess and another queen special move uh, another special move is for the queen uh, is that uh, if if there is no uh, your own piece on the second squares uh, in front of your queen the queen's first move is uh, you can choose to move two squares forward and uh, because you cannot jump on your own piece so it can only work when there is no your own piece in that square and uh, if there is a piece your opponent's piece in this square uh, you can move your queen to take it it is uh, legal so these are the two special rules in Ok Cha Chang or Kamar chess Cambodian chess and uh, in this book it talks about uh, many things of it and one thing which is interesting is that uh, you can cut this paper down and uh, play it on your own paper made uh, board which is cool but I don't need it because I I bought one set from Thailand and it also talks about uh, many different designs uh, some of them are really cool okay so let's go back um, on this chess set uh, firstly it comes with a plastic box you can put all the pieces in this box and as you can see this board is made of paper and let's do some measurements the square of the board is two uh sorry four centimeters uh each side and the tallest piece is our knight, uh, which is about about six centimeter or oh more, about six and six point three or point four centimeters. Mm, it is the tallest piece in this game, and. Um, the second tallest one is the king is about five centimeters and the bishop is about 4.5 centimeters and the queen is 4.2 and the rook is about 2.5 and the pawn is about 0 0.4 centimeters tall and uh, so these are the sizes of uh, this set and they are made of plastic uh, as you can see that uh, it is not I would not say it is well made uh, because you can see this uh, unpleasant looking on it uh, on every piece on each piece it is uh, very uh, the quality is not very good but for me i think it is acceptable and 
when you play this game, uh, you can feel that each piece is uh, not very. Uh, how should I say that? Uh, you can feel that each piece is uh, there is some weight of each piece. It can move uh, very pleasantly. For me, I think it is good. Uh, but the point is very small, so you, when you move each point, uh, you feel uh, you don't feel uh, playing good sets of chess. But when you move other chess pieces, uh, the feel you, the feeling you move each piece. For me, I think it's good enough. And so this is my introduction of this game. And I hope you like it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.